I'm Brian Ellis. Welcome back to HP Tuner's three-part series on our new standalone engine management system, Core ECU. In our last episode, we dove into the core of tuning with HP Tuner's VCM Live. Today, we'll discuss connecting to the Core ECU, choosing the right file for your car, using the setup wizard, and verifying your tune before writing to the ECU. Let's get started. With VCM Live installed on the PC, let's fire it up. You'll notice that the screen is white and it says no tune file loaded. The first thing we need to do is choose from our base calibrations. Our team has provided a selection of 12 base maps. So click on open tune and locate the one that most closely fits your application. Don't worry if it's not exact, we'll fix that in just a bit. With that done, we need to choose a layout to determine what channels and settings we need to see. In the layout section, go to default layouts. For beginners, we recommend basic, but note that you can change between basic or advanced at any time. Now that we have our base file loaded, we're ready to begin adjusting parameters to get more in line with our project. VCM Live includes a setup wizard for users needing to adjust their base map to better fit their application. Let's go to Tune and select the setup wizard. A new dialog menu will open. On the left-hand side, we see various inputs and components that we can select. We can take this section by section, selecting the appropriate component and sensor for our tune. The setup wizard includes a warning highlighting what data will be changed with our new selection. Once our selections are complete, click OK, and you'll be prompted with a warning that these changes will take effect. You will want to save the tune after this process to a new name. You can always re-download the base map from the website, but it's good practice to save the tune under a new name. With the setup wizard complete, your file should be good to connect to the ECU and write. By connecting and writing to the ECU, we'll be able to begin verifying our I.O and accessories are reading correctly in VCM Live. First, ensure you have the necessary components, an account on hptuners.com, a computer with VCM Live installed, and an ethernet cable long enough to connect to the ECU. Connect your computer to the ECU using an ethernet cable. Turn the vehicle ignition to a position other than off. The engine can be running or stopped, but the ECU must be powered. Open VCM Live on your computer. Click the blue car icon to connect, or under the ECU tab, select Connect to open a data connection to the ECU. In the future, you can also press F5, which is the keyboard shortcut for connecting to the ECU. The first time you connect to the ECU, you'll need to register it. Here's how. When prompted, check both boxes labeled, I accept the agreement. Fill out the fields in the activation info box. Click, give me the unlock code. An email with an activation key will be sent to the address you provided. Enter the activation code in the designated box and click unlock. Once registered, your ECU will be unlocked for tuning. You can now proceed with recording data and enabling live tuning as needed. Once you're happy with your base map and your ECU is connected and registered, you're ready to write. Use the quick start button or the file menu to write to the ECU. The write process is similar to our VCM editor software. You will be presented with a dialog box detailing the upload. When utilizing the first time layout, Users will have an option to select either the first time DBC or first time DBW sections. First time DBC or drive by cable. Users will see the relevant information required to verify that their drive by cable throttle is functioning properly. It will provide data on TPS or throttle position sensor, voltage and position, ensuring that you have full range of the sensor and pedal. 
first time drive by wire. Users will see the relevant information required to verify that their drive by wire throttle body and pedal are working together properly. It will provide data on TPS or throttle position sensor, voltage and position, accelerator pedal position and voltage, as well as highlight any DTCs or errors you may be experiencing. These first time setup tabs make it easy to verify that your throttle setup and all related sensors are working correctly prior to starting the engine for the first time. Let's talk briefly about the crank cam offset wizard. This wizard is specifically for LS1 applications that use the 24X trigger pattern and not all applications require this setup. The crank cam offset wizard helps determine the correct crank cam offset and adjust the parameter accordingly. Here's how to use it. Add the measurement calculated crank cam offset to the layout and connect to the ECU. Ensure the engine is running at a steady RPM. In the menu bar, select ECU crank cam offset wizard. Click OK. Calculated crank cam offset measurement should change to a non-zero value. Update the crank cam offset characteristic with that measured value. The tune will have to be flashed for the offset to be applied. This covers the first time setup with Core ECU and VCM Live. From this point forward, it is your responsibility to verify that your sensors are reading correctly, ensure that all connectors and wiring are routed and installed per instruction, and begin the tuning process. We hope you walk away with a better understanding of how these two tools work in harmony. We look forward to seeing your projects come to life with Core and hope that you take time to share them with us on social media. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to our technical support via our website. And if there are any topics concerning Core ECU you'd like to see us discuss in the future, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy tuning.